We're super excited to try out the brand new discs that we just got yesterday from Out of Bounds Disc Golf. Heck yeah, we've just been dying to play, so <laughs> before that branch takes out Sarah, we're gonna try and get a quick nine holes in. So where'd you get your bag? We both got ours at DDO. They were part of our player pack. So on a day like today, we've got everything that we could need. So the first disc we got yesterday was the Glory. The second disc that we got is the Chris Clemens Culprit. I'm excited about this one. I think they're Hybrid X, so hopefully a little bit more stable than the other ones, but we'll see. They're gonna be cool. I love this. This is probably the coolest stamp ever, and I had to get yellow because I wanted it to look like an actual lemon. So for obvious reasons, because we are trying out new discs that we've never thrown before, we're going to be playing the reds here because we don't want to torture ourselves. That would be atrocious to watch and play. Alright, so I don't know what going to do, so I'm going to put it on some Anheuser to hopefully counteract the hyzer that I think it's going to go on. So I know the pin is to the right, but for my first throw of the day, I really don't want to throw a forehand on a brand new disc that I've never thrown. So I'm going to backhand and then just work my way back to the basket with the culprit too. I get to try both on this hole. Works out great. I mean, that's super short, but that was the first time I threw it and it's really beefy. It's really heavy and I love the way the plastic feels and it had a little bit of a flare skip at the end too. Sorry, just got really bright. And I think I like it, but I don't know yet because I think that was a bad throw. <laughs> so it's definitely short. Forehand culprit it is. Another first throw. You're seeing it here live, folks. Well, not live, you know. A little bit after. Ooh, I threw that a little high. Oh, I like the way that felt too. That was honestly a great throw. It looked like it went in a great spot. That was nice. Hey, Chris Clemens, I really like your disc. Easy threesy. Cover girl. Oh yeah. Expecting for scuffs. Got one right here. A big swirl oh, across yeah. the front. That's how you know it's good. Ugh, first throw and I messed it up. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys cry over this stuff or just me? <laughs> I'm so sad. Good three. All right, we're gonna start with the Hawkeye. We've got a crosswind, so this will be interesting. I'm gonna go in the basket for the time to do. Holy oh. shit. I hit the fucking cage. <laughs> First throw. <laughs> well, that's probably gonna make the bag. <laughs> Second throw. Let's try the glory again. That was pretty. I mean, I hit that little tree, but I like that. It's a really smooth disc. Like it came out of the hand so smooth. I mean, I hit the tree, that was my fault. Not the disc, that was really nice. I love throwing this so far. And there I am, smoked the freaking cage. Holy cow, if I'm like a foot higher, I think that one sticks. We're gonna try the fuse on this one and See if I can get it all the way down there. Oh, oh tree nine. I think I've just messed up this stamp again. <laughs> no. First throw with the glory. Try and keep it flat and hope it fights this wind. A little bit of Ooh, that grass ate it up. Oh, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Exciting. Oh. Oh. That 
was impressive. That was a far five. 20 feet. I don't Bag know. On. With the camera and everything. Holy cow. <laughs> I guess I just thought, you know, I believed in myself. Don't forget, I got Gatorade here too. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to try and throw this glory on the forehand. Rock and roll. Yeah, we'll see. Ooh, that fly is really nice on the forehand. That's gorgeous. Wow, that worked out way better than I expected. Holy cow. <laughs> Decent. Yeah, I like that disc. That's two now. Impressive. So this is hole 14. I hate this hole. <laughs> I'm gonna try to throw the fuse. Five fuse. the best I can do on this hole. <laughs> that was money! That's under the basket. I think that's pretty good. Great too. Thank you. So I think you're liking the glory. Pretty good. All those discs have been pretty good so far. I agree. I'm gonna try the glory on the forehand. When life gives you lemons, get a lemonade culprit. <laughs> you missed the best pun ever. Make lemonade <laughs> holy cow wow guys please let her know how terrible she is at puns in the comments atrocious <laughs> my bad <laughs> oh great pot Hawkeye is pretty good. Wow. Oh, I thought it was in. Wow. By yourself, a Chris Clemens culprit. <laughs> if you're like Sarah, you should probably get over to Out of Bounds Disc Golf like yesterday and pick yourself up a Clemonade culprit. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You guys should, should probably get some Hawkeyes too. <laughs> I told you. I've never seen you almost ace any more in one round than what you have today with that disc. Like, that's insane. I think I'm gonna put a lefty. Real rebel right here. I think I'm never gonna putt lefty again. 10 out of 10, get yourself a Chris Clemens culprit. Absolutely love that disc, it's amazing. I would say that the glory is not quite beat in enough for me yet. It's brand new and it's a little too overstable for my arm at the moment, but I think I'm gonna really grow to love it once it gets beat in a little bit. For sure. The fuse is always great, duh. So get a fuse too. Honestly, I freaking love the Hawkeye. Was a little skeptical at first. I've never thrown one before, but I gotta say, I love it. I It will definitely make the bag, but honestly that culprit and that glory definitely, you know, fighting their way in there too. That, uh, Glory is a little bit more overstable than uh, an Explorer, but feels very similar. So it feels like it holds up better in headwinds, and I can actually throw it on my forehand too. I'd probably use it on the forehand until it gets beat in more. I think that's yeah. where I'm going to use it for now. We'll see you guys tomorrow.